Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we finished our preparations for the assault on Kefka's Tower and paid a visit to Chaos Father. This time, the assault begins! So let's get on with the show. Ooh, nice effect. Going up instead of down. Alright, we're going in! It's time we took the battle to Kefka's doorstep. The gods of the Warring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them... You're worried about what might happen? I'm not sure, but... Espers, and even magic itself, could vanish from the world. Well, all the espers are dead, so... I don't really see... Even... Although losing magic would kind of suck. Um... Oh. I guess it is something to consider. Later. Uh, for now, huh, I didn't even know I could do that. For now, let's set up our parties. I kind of showed what was happening for this earlier, but, well. By the way, my logic for pit, I actually have a logic behind this, these party setups. Um, maybe not very good logic, but there is a logic there. Basically, all of these guys are automatic for Cian. I wanted to pair these two together, and I wanted to pair the brothers together. I wanted to pair these two together, and that left these two to fill up the extra slot. Although, I was going to use these two anyway, but, I mean, in terms of the setup. So yeah, that's my logic. In any case, this is what we're going with. Mm, I'll go over their stuff in particular later on, but for these guys, you should all see it all in battle. But Mog has the uh, no encounter power, so I'm going to need to actually go out of my way to show off his party. Immediately all dumped into different areas. The Warring Triad Awaits. Yep. You know, I really feel they underused the shoulder buttons for this. Like, in battle it's one thing, because you do need something to indicate multi-target, but come on! They don't use the shoulder buttons for anything on the world map, and it would have been great for switching between parties. Oh well. Um, so here's Terra's party. Relic-wise, Terra is OP magic. He has the Master Scroll for something that I'll get later on in the dungeon. He has the map. He has Genji Gloves because he's really good with Genji Gloves. And Realm here is just made for cheap spellcasting. Also, I think Realm has the Paladin Shield because I'm hoping she learns Ultima. Um, let's see. Yeah, she has the Paladin Shield because I want her to learn Ultima. For Celeste's party, she has, she, like Realm, is set up for cheap magic casting. Uh, Locke is set up for successful stealing, although I don't know if I'll actually use this, and Genji Gloves. He has the ultimate weapon Valiant Knife combo, which is a really stupid combo, but I did it anyway. Um, this guy is, he is Hero's Ring just because I couldn't think of anything better to give him, to be honest. Because he's just going to be spamming blitzes, but he doesn't really need more magic power than he already has. Um, I guess I could have given him, like, I don't know, prayer beads or something? Maybe a Zephyr Cloak? Whatever. Hero's Ring is as good as anything. And Edgar has is set up for Dragooning. 
So, yeah. I exp Actually, he's probably better at it than Mog, because he has a higher base strength. Although, consequently, Mog doesn't have the Holy Lance, so that's a little annoying. For Sian... Sian is set up for, Bl for Bushido. Mog has a Hero's Ring and no encounters, so, you know, that's gonna be nice. Gao also has a Hero's Ring and Auto Haste. And Gogo has Brigand's Glove for Mug and Guard Bracelet. Because. Gogo has the power of Mug and Blitzes. Because I figured, hey, why don't I give him the power of OP um, Phantom Rush as well? It seemed like the thing to do. Equipment wise. Zen Tetsuken, the second best spear that I have, which isn't a very good spear to be honest. Um, Thunder Shield and Sword Breaker. Actually, now that I look at this though, I should steal one of these Thunder Shields because, well, whatever. I'll just leave it the way it is. It doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm going to start off with this party because I don't need to worry about encounters with them. Which is kind of convenient, I think. Hey, it's a box! The- a red cap? Another red cap? Really? I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Hmm. Well, Locke currently has a red cap, so the second one I should put on either Cyan or Shadow. Since Shadow's going to get in more battles, I'm thinking Shadow. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a good plan. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a door. Hmm. Okay, um... I feel like... There are probably locations where I need one character in a certain spot to for others to progress. But with three different parties, it's hard to keep... Tr it's hard to tell. Um, is this one way? Oh no, it's like interior. A hero's ring! That's like number five. Seriously, I have so many hero's rings. Uh... I can't tell which way that's going. This is definitely going down though. No, it's going up. Son of a bitch. If I miss stuff, I'll be actually really upset. Okay, I can go back down that way. Um, there's a save point here. And there's an open box? What? Why is there an open box? Am I in the Magitek Research Facility? Like, is this tower built from pe- It would make sense if this tower was built, at least in part, from pieces of Vector, so... Okay, that goes back there. So, where does the other doorway go? Uh, I can't go back out. Well, that's... Oh wait, no, I can go through here. Okay then. So, where does this go? Then, because there was another door in here. Okay, it goes up here. And a, a nut kid suit? What? The, what is that? A squirrel costume. Not surprised, but who can wear it? Uh, is that better than the Bombmuth suit, though? Um, gives you a ton of speed. That might be better than the Bombmuth suit. I'll have to check that out when I switch over to Realm's Party. And a gauntlet. My second gauntlet. That's just great. Yeah. I'm gonna need to remember that for the future. When in... Um, when taken... Choose them between the Gauntlet and the Genji Glove. Take the freaking Genji Glove, because there's so many more Gen- I mean, take the freaking Gauntlet. There's so many more Genji Gloves. It's kind of- it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Just how many more Genji Gloves you get. You would think it would be more balanced. Or at least I would think, and I'd be wrong. Okay, since there's a save point right here, it seems like a good place to stop and wait for the other party members to catch up. Especially since it means I can switch to Sian at any time to save my progress. And it seems like a good idea, you know? So, let's, uh... Let's do this party. Mmm... 
Wait, do I get any resistances from the Bonmouth suit? Uh, no. It increases all my stuff a lot, though. Strength and stamina as well. On the other hand, I'm not sure how much I care about strength and stamina. Mmm. Well, it's only plus one speed, so it's probably not worthwhile. I guess if I only had one Bomba suit, I'd, and I was using Strago, I would probably use that, but I have two, and I don't use Strago, so you know, I'm doubly covered. Vector... what? There's four of them there? But I... hmm... Oh... Okay. Hmm. I don't think Realm actually does much damage attacking. So I should probably be using her, um... Her... I should probably be using magic with her, because that's what she's specced for, but... You know, whatever. Oh yeah, Genji Gloves plus Master Scroll, so obviously Setzer is going to take a sweet time. But... It is still fairly effective for a not very strong character, and that's gonna power is gonna go up quite a lot later on, probably. Okay, there's an entrance here, and there's a box here. Hypno Crown. What does that do? Increases the success rate of control. Um, well, I don't really use control. But it might be better than the circlet. Well, it's faster than the circlet. It has higher magic defense. Um, so the quest, it doesn't low, it has the same magic, so this is actually probably better than the circlet on Realm. Oh, you know what? I should have bought another circlet for Gao. That's, it's better than the, oh well. Oh, I can give this to Gao now, actually. Hmm. I guess I could give her control, but I really don't care about control. Uh, while I'm here, though, before I forget, I should give you the red cap. Although it does drop your defense, but you're basically built to be a glass cannon anyway. And I guess I'll give you my extra Genji helm now. Okay, then. More of these assholes. Okay, well, let's see if Cesar can give us a repeat. I think you probably can, actually. Uh, do you have Libra? I doubt it. Hardly anyone is Libra. It seems I really neglected in teaching Libra to anyone, really. Um, which is sort of a whoopsie. What you gonna do, I guess. Too late to do anything about it now. I mean, well, technically it's not too late, but I, I don't really care that much, to be honest. Mmm, this way. Indoors! Um... Okay, it's a box! And new enemies. In a back attack? That's a little bit annoying. Well, there's an easy way to deal with this. And I call it... actually not Realm. I want Terra, please. Because I'm gonna just nuke them. Thank you for not hitting Shadow. Uh, okay, I'm glad I didn't speak too soon. Incidentally, as far as I'm, I can tell, I haven't exactly tested this extensively, Ultima is un block completely unblockable, meaning it goes through Reflect. So it's a safe ability to use when I don't know whether or not something has innate Reflect, which is generally bullshit, by the way, but, you know, again, there's not really much I can do about it. Um... Woo! Use, like, 50 MP all at once. Fixed Ice! That is the weapon I wanted for Setzer! 
Behold, the fixed dice! Um, they work like the dice, except there's more dice and also they have better odds of dealing more higher damage. It's still a pretty suboptimal build using the Master Scroll, to be honest, but it's a really easy way to make a character like Setzer, who isn't really that great, deal a, like, huge damage. Uh, you hit her, you do this. Honestly, I should actually be healing with Realm, because not only is she way better at it than Setzer or, or Shadow, but she also has reduced MP drain. And Osmos, for that matter. Uh, yeah, he's fine. She's not dead, really? Behold, the power of fixed dice! And then regular dice. Oh, and the other advantage is that both of these have, um, ignore... Both of these ignore the damage penalty to the Master Scroll, so they go particularly well with it. Sort of. Of course, the offside is that this takes forever. And really, you didn't kill anyone? Oh, okay, you did kill her. And him. Two out of three isn't bad. To be, actually. Of course, it would be better if you hadn't died from a counterattack. But, you know, there's only so much I can do. Sensor's kind of bad. Hmm. Which... Which Fenrir? Okay. Uh... You use Raise. Please. You can use Cure. Heal him, heal him, heal him, heal him. There we go. Okay, um... I guess we're continue on. This is the right direction, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Can I reach that box? New. No. Oh, there's a switch there. Hmm. Well, then. I don't think I can go any further, so... No, I can't. Switch! And these guys again. Except this time with it against a different party. Uh, let's go with that. I think that should be pretty effective. I think probably this will be pretty effective. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, uh, I wonder if I can do something with that crane. Hmm. Anyway. Let us continue forward! Uh, I guess we go up. Prime Ed... Seriously? First of all, HOW IS THIS A DRAGON?! Second of all, F these things kind of give me bad memories. Um, I don't think they're prob they're probably not too bad, but but man, they give me bad memories. Wait, life shaver? No, 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 no! You son of a bitch! Well, you know what? You're dead now. I don't know why you use Razor Gale, but you're still dead. Okay, now, um... Oh, hey, there's a box. Maneuver Bustier. Can only women wear that? Um... Provides a 25% bonus to MP. Halves and negates everything. Only Terran Sliz can wear it, though. Um, it's basically for a better force armor. Okay, then. Um... Terra is pretty OP as is, so I think I'm gonna put this on you. 
and it frees up force armor to put on someone. You? Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Um, and on that note, I think I'm gonna end off here. So, join me next time when we continue the raid on Kafka's Tower. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!